in today's show. I'm looking forward to Thursday's games in the NBA. What I'm watching for, Michael Bolton. Thanks, Josh. It's Michael Bolton here, and it's time for another episode of the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Indeed. You are Locked On Fantasy Basketball, your daily fantasy basketball podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Hello and welcome to the Locked On Fantasy Basketball Podcast brought to you by Basketball Monster. My name is Josh Lloyd and I am the lead fantasy analyst at BasketballMonster.com and at Yahoo Sports Australia. And you can find me on Twitter as always at RedRock underscore B-Ball and on Instagram at Locked On Fantasy Basketball. Let's look ahead. We've only got four, uh, four games on on Thursday. But what are we watching for in those fourth games? That's the question I'm going to answer right now. Let's talk about it. First game, Bucks hawks back-to-back here for Milwaukee. And the first time I've got that list is going to be Josh. First of all, who the bloody hell is Jordan Wara and why are you watching him? Well, we've seen the Bucks do multi-rests plenty of times. So there is a possibility that the Bucks rest a whole bunch of guys here on the back-to-back against the Hawks. Now, maybe they don't because they only had to go half-paced against the Wolves and play these guys 25 minutes. But it's at least something worth watching because in games where they have had to rest these guys, Nwar has had some pretty, pretty big performances. So I at least want to see what they do there with the rest. I also want to see whether Yanni Antetokounmpo is going to play. Of course, he's missed a bunch of time with his knee injury. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Six straight for Yanni. Um, if he is out, then we look at Punch Bob. Bobby Portis will get probably another start. And play minimum 25 minutes would be the expectation. Probably push close to 30. Some nights they do start Pat Connaughton in there. But in general, it is uh, it is Bob Portis who gets that um, gets that starting nod when Yanni does happen to be uh, does happen to be sidelined. So let's um let's see how that all works out. In terms of the other side of things, the Hawks. Well, I want to see Brandon Goodwin because we don't know whether Trey Young's going to play. Trey is listed as questionable at the moment, and Goodwin's had two really good games in a row. The Italian cock, Dino Gallinari, is also questionable. Hands off my cock! So that means we'll probably get Solomon Hill starting in that scenario, but Goodwin's really, really intriguing. He's played 37 minutes in each of the last two games, and I thought he was really good in those two games. So let's see if he's able to replicate that. And then Fanta Pants is going to have extra ball handling and extra usage responsibilities. If one of those two, Young and Gallinari, are out, we don't, again, when that's not confirmed at this point, they are still questionable. But Herder, who lost a ton of value and then a whole bunch of guys got injured, he is putting up some good numbers. And of course, Bogdan Bogdanovich also putting up some absolute rippers at this stage. In the next game we look at is the Warriors and the Cavs back-to-back for Golden State. They will be without, back-to-back for the Cavs as well, They the Warriors will be without Kali Oubre again. So we're going to get Kent Bazemore getting another start. Bazemore's been putting up some good numbers in 30 minutes a night. He's been yeah, producing in terms of getting steals and getting threes. Um, and he's going to be work- with only four games on. There's not many guys you can get in to be streamers, and he is going to be one of them. And I also want to watch Steph Curry, just because he's super bloody fun to watch. Like, we know how good Steph is. He's been playing at a super high level. Um, maybe this is a blowout and he, he, maybe they rest him. Maybe he sits down. I, I doubt that because they need to bank as many wins as possible. I'm expecting another big performance from Steph Curry. Here. For the Cavs, it's going to be interesting what they do. It is a back-to-back. We had Larry Nance and Jarrett Allen both return on Wednesday. Will they play in this back-to-back? Will Kevin Love play in this back-to-back? Is this a big opportunity for Dean Wade and maybe Isaiah Hartenstein to put up numbers? That's something we've got to watch. Now, Wade... Started again, interestingly, at small forward with Colin Sexton out. And he's been really good. And he is worth a stream, especially for this day. And we want to see Nance, how he looks, if he plays. And then if Love is out, whether he starts and plays 30 minutes. There are a lot of question marks with his front court with the Cavs. But we want to cast a really close eye on Wade and Nance and then Allen and Love and Prince and how it all works out in this rotation. The next game we look at is the Kings and the Suns. They did start Damian Jones over Hassan Whiteside on Wednesday. So uh, Rashawn Holmes is going to be out of this one. Do they go back to Jones? How much does Whiteside play? But also, how much does Mo Harkless play? Harkless has been surprising, getting some defensive stats. I mean, he's not particularly good, but he's scoring a little bit. He's getting some good steals. He's blocking some shots, and that can be useful. And then Darren Fox, who's been just carrying a massive load. Huge, well, there it is. Giggity. Huge usage, good scoring, varying free throws success, but he's been pretty strong. Well, for the Suns, we know about Jay Crowder. Sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. Now, he was pretty shit in the last game, so maybe it's time for a good one from Jay Crowder. Of course, we don't know that at this point. That's just taking speculation on him, but there is a there is a chance. Um, 
that, that this is a good one. And then also Cam Johnson is a guy who has definitely improved over the last week or so. Again, we're in a four-game day on Thursday, so we're looking for stream options. Someone like Johnson, who's getting some steals, who's hitting some threes, who's scoring all right, he could be an option for you to stream in, um, especially in a game that, that might end up turning into a blowout. And then the Celtics and the Lakers, we're always wanting to watch the Rock DJ, Robbie Williams, who is having his ceiling capped a little bit by Tristan Thompson, but 26 minutes a night is nothing to sneeze at. He remains a must-roster player. Let's see what he can do against the Lakers and Andre Drummond. Well, Marcus Smart, I've been really impressed with the way that Smart turned up his, his numbers of late, really starting to fit in next to Kemba, next to Jalen Brown. We're at the start of the year, was a little bit iffy with Marcus, but he is putting up some strong numbers. Let's hope that we can get improvements in the shooting. Well, for the Lakers, Montrez Harrell, it's been pretty rough for the table, playing behind Andre Drummond. Honestly, he should lose more minutes to Marcus Sol, but that's not happening at the moment. So I believe that Harrell is a drop, but let's see how he looks in this game. Let's see what his minutes look like. If he's playing 20 a night, it's really hard to justify him as a hold. No LeBron, no Anthony Davis. So Kuzma's going to get another start. Now, he has had some pretty inefficient nights, but the volume is strong. He's scoring at a pretty decent level as well, and that's providing good numbers. So he remains that 12-team league player. If we go ahead to look at... Streams now. Kent Bazemore looks really good to me as a streamer with Ubre out again. Kavon Looney should get another start. It is a back-to-back -back for the Warriors. How much they play him remains to be seen, but they don't really have any other center options. Alex Caruso for the Lakers and Taylor Horton Tucker for the Lakers can be solid enough stream options. And then we go back to the Warriors with Damian Lee, who should see his role increase with Cali Ubre out. So they are stream options. And in points leagues, we're looking at Bazemore, Jay Crowder, Lou Williams with the Hawks, especially if Trey Young is out. Taylor Horton Tucker, and then Markeith Morris as well as another stream option. That'll do it for me today. Don't forget, follow this podcast, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and on Odyssey. Yes, Odyssey, A-U-D-A-C-Y. That's where you can find this podcast. And then when you're on YouTube, why don't you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the thumbs up, ring my ding -a -ling, drop a comment down below. Guys, we are done here. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. See ya.